An amazing device, created by Greek scientists 2,000 years ago, is the world's first computer. What is the story behind this extraordinary mechanism and its hidden mysteries? The Antikythera mechanism has been a base of research for more than a century. The Antikythera mechanism is an extremely precise device that was constructed by Greek scientists for astronomical and scientific purposes. This mechanism consists of aligned wheels, spokes and cogs made of metal. Using the Antikythera mechanism, the ancient Greeks were able to predict eclipses, astronomical positions and the movements of the stars and planets. Discovered in an ancient shipwreck near Crete in 1901, the freakishly advanced Antikythera mechanism has been called the world's first computer. A decades-long investigation into the 2,000-year-old device is shedding new light onto this mysterious device, including the revelation that it may have been used for more than just astronomy. The Antikythera mechanism is one of the most fascinating and important archaeological discovery ever made, one that reveals the remarkable technological and engineering capacities of the ancient Greeks as well as their excellent grasp of astronomy. This clock-like assembly of bronze gears and displays was used to predict lunar and solar eclipses, along with the positions of the sun, moon, and planets. It wasn't programmable in the modern sense, but it's considered the world's first analog computer. Dating to around 60 BC, nothing quite like it would appear for another millennium. Since its discovery at the bottom of the Mediterranean, scientists have sought to understand its purpose. No user manual exists, but more than a dozen pieces of classical literature make mention of similar devices. Scientists are having to figure it out by looking at it both inside and out. Their analysis reaffirms much of what we already knew about the Antikythera mechanism, while also providing some tantalizing new details. The machine's physical parts are reasonably well understood, so in an effort to learn more about its, its intended function, the researchers took a deeper look into the tiny inscriptions meticulously etched onto the outer surfaces of its 82 surviving fragments. Some of these letters measure just 1.2 millimeters 1 20th of an inch across and are engraved on the inside covers and visible front and back sections of the device. To do it, the researchers used cutting-edge imaging techniques, including X-ray scanning. In total, researchers have now read about 3,500 characters of explanatory text within the device. The researchers described the machine as a kind of philosopher's instructional device. The new analysis confirms that the mechanism displayed planets, while also showing the position of the sun and the moon in the sky. But while the device had a definite astronomical purpose, it appears the machine was also used to see what the future holds. The researchers suspect this because some of the inscriptions on the device refer to the color of a forthcoming eclipse. Researchers suggest that the color of an eclipse was some sort of omen or signal. The device was not a research tool, something that an astronomer would use to do computations, or even an astrologer to do prognostications but something that you would use to teach about the cosmos and our place in the cosmos.
It's like a textbook of astronomy as it was understood then, which connected the movements of the sky and the planets with the lives of the ancient Greeks and their environment.